Hello everyone, I am Sayed Musa Kalim from Epicop and today I am gonna show you how to create a responsive carousel using Bootstrap 3. So let's get started. So I have one file here called index.html and inside this file I have I have taken a div tag and I have given a class called carousel slide and I have given an ID called slider and data write equals to slider this represents that this entire div is a carousel div so as you can see here in the header section in the head section of this file I have three elements uh, two elements are of link and the last one last two are the script the first two links are for the bootstrap dot min cs and for the style dot css this is the custom CSS file and this file is for the bootstrap 3 and this file script file this is the script file and in this file I am taking a jQuery file uh, using CDN so this is the Google API jQuery file and I have linked this file in my folder and the last script file is for the bootstrap.min.js so this this these are the four files which I have given in my head section of this file so this is the carousel div inside this div we are going to create a responsive carousel using bootstrap 3 so we'll continue with this firstly we'll take one div tag and then and we'll give a class called carousel inner inside this inner uh, carousel inner div tag inside this carousel uh, inner element we are going to take all the items of this carousel so inside this carousel inner we'll take one div tag and we'll give class as item and active as you all know that the first element the first item should be active so that's why I have given active class to this item and inside this I'll give another div tag and I'll say carousel caption so this is the simple text carousel caption which which displays along with this item so we'll give one h4 tag inside this carousel caption and we'll say bootstrap 3 and we'll take one more p tag in this carousel caption and we'll give some description about bootstrap 3 it is a it is an amazing css library to create responsive web pages so this is our first item and we'll give id to this item as slide 1 and we'll copy down this entire item and we'll paste it down here one more time so we'll remove this active class as this is the second and third element third item these these two are the third second and third items so we don't want these items to be active so we'll change this id to slide 2 and this one to slide 3 and we'll save this so we have taken three items inside carousel inner and after giving these three items we need to create one unordered list above the carousel inner and we'll give class as carousel indicators this indicators represents your carousel indicators your carousel items so inside this carousel indicators let's take three list items 
and give class as I active the first item should be active this is the indicator of your item and the second class the second list item and the third list item so we'll give data slide 2 this is the data annotations data HTML uh, data attributes so we are giving this HTML slide 2 equals to 0 you might be wondering why I am giving this 0 here because it works like an array it starts with 0 the first item should be 0 and the second item will be 1 and the third item will be 2 like like this it is it will go uh, it will goes on so the data slide 2 would be the f 0 for this first element or the first item and we'll copy down this data slide to this list items and we'll change this to 1 and this should be 2 so after giving this all things let's give the buttons the previous and the next buttons of carousel where we have to give that buttons right we have to give that buttons below this carousel inner div tag let's say anchor tag and give this as slider href i forgot to give your target data target data target should be the data target should be the you uh, should be the carousel as you can see here I have given ID called slider to the main carousel div tag so this should be the data target for all the list items which is present inside the carousel indicators so copy down this data target attribute and paste it down here and here as well let's save this and let's move on we'll give a class and we'll say left carousel control as this elements work like works like a controls for your carousel for the previous and for the next item it works like a carousel control so you have to give carousel control bo carousel control bootstrap three class these all classes are bootstrap three classes which you need to remember while creating uh, responsive carousel so let's take another anchor tag after this but before that let's take a span tag inside this anchor tag icon preview this depends that this is the previous button in your carousel copy down this anchor tag and paste it here for the next element and change this to right as this represents the next element in your carousel inner in your carousel slider change this to next next save this and we are almost done here and we need to check we need to check what we are forgetting here so let's go to this file I have a code here in my file and as you can see here we have given ol carousel indicators and we have give class as well data target data slide 2 these all things we have given so after giving this we'll check the carousel inner part we are all done and we are forgetting this one data slide data slide and the role should be button to this anchor tags we have to give these attributes data slide previous and the role should be button and to this next element we have to give data slide equals to next and the role should be obviously button let's save this file and let's hop to the browser and we'll see will it work or not no it doesn't work because we have 
we haven't give a CSS here we need to give CSS I have style.css file and we need to style this carousel using CSS so we'll style this carousel in this file called style.css firstly I'm gonna take slider and inside this slider ID I have item inside the, the I, uh, class item I'll take the height the height of the item should be 400 pixels in my case as you can take anything you could take 500 pixels as well it's it, it, it is your wish but I'm taking 400 pixels for the height of this item and we'll refresh this no still doesn't work uh, we need to give uh, slide one no we need to take the ID of the each element which we have taken here once again I'll show you as you can see here I have given slide one the ID of this item slide two uh, ID of this second item and slide three the ID of the third item so this IDs you need to take here in your CSS file because I am giving the background images to these items so I have images present inside my images folder 1.jpg and I will say center no repeat so let's save this and let's hop to the browser and we'll refresh as you can see here my carousel is ready now the first element is ready now let's give the images to the next item we have given the background image to the first item only and we haven't given any background image to the next items so firstly I'm gonna take the slider ID and I'll take the margin top attribute and will say 60 pixels and we'll save this and we'll refresh this as you can see here I have given a margin of 60 pixels to this entire carousel and we'll copy down this ID and paste it here and we'll change this to slide 2 for the next item uh, for the second item slide 3 for the third item and we'll also change these images we'll say 2.jpg and 3.jpg and we'll save this and we'll hit refresh yeah it is working uh, it, it is still not working because I have I forgot something here while giving indicators it seems like that firstly we need to check what we are doing wrong here in index.html file carousel caption yeah uh, for the font size of the carousel caption carousel caption uh, the font size will be 18 pixels you could take anything let's refresh this refresh it again let's inspect this element in the browser itself that our changes are implementing in the browser or not uh, we'll check this button and yeah it is working font size is 18 pixels for this carousel caption yeah our carousel is working fine as you can see here we need to remove this slider ID from this and we need to refresh it again you can see here this is the first item and yeah it is working but the second image is not working oh I have given one wrong image here as you can see here in my images folder which I have opened here not in this folder I'll show you this is my folder client script and inside this I have one folder called images and I have three images one three and lol.jpg so I forgot to give the correct name of the image I have given two but I was wrong 
the actual name of the image was the actual name of the image is lol.jpg let's save this and let's hop to the browser and we'll refresh it again and we'll remove this id from this url and we'll refresh it again and we'll see no it is not working still not yeah it is working now the third item is displaying on the browser this is the third and this is the second and this one is the first item and we'll see it is, is it responsive or not and we'll minimize this browser to the mobile view yeah it is a responsive carousel you can see here it is working fine and it is a responsive carousel the text is also responsive because I have given only 18 pixels you could use media queries in your case to reduce the font size of this carousel caption the images are responsive and the carousel is working fine uh, hope you understand about this video please like and subscribe my channel share my videos don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching this video I'll see you in the next video